What's up, everybody? Blazing Ace Nelson back again, and, uh, well, since you're here, have a seat. Take a load off. Welcome back to Ace's Place. Now, th th today is definitely one of those days where I just felt the need, the resolute and urgent need to get in front of the camera and rant. If you want to know why, Strap yourselves in and let's 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 strap you into the Wayback Machine and take you back. Well, it really isn't that far back now that I think about it. Back to end of March, early April, around there. Does the name Adam Ortha ring a bell? For those of you that might not be aware, Adam Orth is the former. Creative Director at Microsoft. Now, I say former because after his bout of Twitter mouth diarrhea, Microsoft decided to can him. And when I say Twitter mouth diarrhea, all I have to say is this. Look up the hashtag, deal with it. Now, this all pretty much came about because... Because, you know, people were asking him online about, you know, what was eventually revealed as the Xbox One. They were asking, you know, a discussion came up about systems always needing an internet connection, always having to be online. And, you know, even, even fellow game developers were pretty much telling him, like, look, man, hey. What about people who, say, live on military bases or people who just live in areas with bad internet service? And I'm not talking Comcast bad. I'm talking bad, bad. Like, you're in the middle of trying to watch Netflix and this thing is chugging along at dial-up pace. Bad. If any at all. And, hold on a second, let me... Give me a quick, give me just a quick second to actually look this up on the little bit so that I can get this right for you guys. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, on his Twitter account, which is now private, you know, this guy basically comes up and says, Sorry, I don't get the drama around having an always-on console. Every device now is always on. That's the world we live in. Hashtag deal with it. Which brings me to a new segment in Ace's Place that I'd like to introduce known as and now there's this asshole. Said asshole being, once again, Adam Orth. Now, needless to say, that little bit of Twitter mouth diarrhea right there sparked off a firestorm the likes of which was not seen up until the official release of the Xbox One and their previous DRM policies. Yeah. Notice how, after all the outrage, the Xbox One did a 180. But, this dude wants to claim that he was joking around. And, you know, if you're joking around, then, you know, a snark tag would be nice. Or, at the very least, you know, coming back around and saying, hey, I was just... It was like, hey, you know, I wasn't trying to be, it was like, I wasn't trying to be a jerk. I was just making a statement which, you know, I, I was making a statement which ties in more to what I think, but that's not, but that may not be what the general populace thinks, you know, that's just my opinion. You know, disclaimers, caveats, something to actually, you know, 
help people understand that you're joking. And don't use the fact that you're joking as some sort of half-assed apology. If someone comes out and... Hold on, hold on. If someone like one of the guys from Bioware, Manveer Hair, if he comes around and says, "Did you learn nothing from Diablo 3 or the or the Sims, or sorry, or Sim City?" All right, you know some people's internet goes out. Deal with it is a shitty reason. If someone actually responds to you like that, that right there should be your cue. To get, to get the wax out your ears, listen up, open your eyes and go, oh, wait, hold on. I made a joke, but some, it's like, I made a joke, but, you know, someone else might have overheard it and took it wrong. Let me, at the very least, try and make sure that they know it was a joke as well, so they don't have to worry about engaging. It was just, you know, uh... You know, just a jab between friends. You know, that kind of thing. You know, if if someone, even if it is, you know, a colleague or a friend, if someone actually steps up to you and says, Hey, that comment you made or that joke you made, that was kind of fucked up, dude. Then you not only owe it to yourself, but I think you owe it to, you know, someone that you consider a friend. Or a colleague to go, oh, damn, my bad, let me clear this up. You know, you owe it to yourself, at the very least, for your own reputation, if not for your own conscience, to clear up the misunderstanding. Hey, it's just common sense, right? But no. No, 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 this dude, apparently, this, this dude decided to pick this fight. And he kept with this fight. And the internet as a whole, the gaming community, the gaming world as a whole, turned their collective ire on him. And the end result was, for those of you that haven't heard recently, that apparently Microsoft decided to give him the old heave-ho and just shove him right out the door. My guess is they decided to shove him right out the door, not only because of the backlash, but because he was telling all the, he was damn near hinting at and telling all their dirty little secrets before they could announce it themselves before E3. So, here we are. E3 has come and gone. Sony has effectively sure you can Microsoft right in the gonies. And Microsoft has reversed their DRM policies on the Xbox One. The gamers let out their battle cry. And Microsoft actually, you know, not just figuratively, you know, not just in the way that, you know, we're catering to you so that we can get more money. Microsoft actually listened and have decided to reverse their DRM policies and offered a way to actually do so by connecting to the net once you get the system. Connecting to the net so that way you can download the day one patch which is pretty much like a like an instantaneous hotfix in order to disable the infrastructure that enables all of the ass backwards DRM stuff that they were trying to implement with the system. Oh, happy day! However, I still remain cautious as far as Microsoft goes because number one, brother, you don't get a gold star. You don't, you don't get a gold star saying you tried. You don't get a cookie for doing what you're supposed to. You don't get 
a Nobel Peace Prize, or a Congressional Medal of Honor for being a decent person. You get those accolades for going above and beyond. Likewise, with the gaming public. You get respect. You get trust. You get brand loyalty for not only doing what you're supposed to do, but kicking it up to that next level. So, as far as the next console generation goes, again, my personal opinion, I might probably stick with the PS4. I might probably get a Wii U. I might probably just wait until all the prices drop and all the bugs are worked out and I'm going to strangle this phone in order to... You know, I'm not going to try and test the waters. I'm just going to wait it out. I did so with this generation, and the PS3 is holding me over quite well thus far. And then there's this asshole. Let me get back on the subject of Adam motherfucking Orth. GDC Next, 2013. The, you know, the new Game Developers Conference. GDC 2.0, basically. This takes the Game Developers Conference and puts the focus more on forward thinking, more on progressive strategies, more on looking at the coming and the next generation of gaming and the business and the art of gaming and going, what can we do to capitalize on this? What kinds of techniques can we use to usher in this new age of gaming that is swiftly approaching? And on the on the official website for Game of Sutra, I'll go ahead and put the links in the description below. They actually have previews of Okay, I know this camera did not just freaking Hey, focus. There we go. Thank you, Jarvis. Uh, they actually have previews of the various speakers that are going to be speaking at this conference. Now, for those of you that are actually on the page following along, I'll just go ahead and read some of this off to you real quick. Here's a listing of what they have so far. And it looks good so far. Check it out. The fir first up for their speakers are going to be, is going to be that video game company, or sorry, that game company, the developers of Journey, one of the hottest indie games on the market right now. I've had the chance to check it out. If you haven't, I'd recommend it. It's, it's quirky. It's fun. It's unique. It's, it's what I want to see in a game. It's something that's engaging, but still fun. But the studio manager, Sonny Pavlovic, is actually going to be showing up at GDC Next, and he'll be discussing... What was it? Yeah, he'll be discussing their design philosophy and their future. You know, it's, hey, we're that game company. We're that games, that game company. This is how we did it. This is what we're thinking. Maybe we can share it with you guys. Awesome. You know, innovation being shared with the rest of the profession so that hopefully they can get in on the they can get in where they fit in and capitalize. What's not to like about that? And then after that, they're actually gonna have Imagineers from Disney speaking at GDC next. Now this is interesting because they're actually gonna be talking about how theme park design and you know using the elements of the theme park to tell an interactive story can relate to video game design never would have thought of something like that it's like it, it, it's a new perspective and it's an interesting perspective so you know on that front I gotta say get on you Disney you know let's Let's see what your let's see what your brand of thinking in regards to design can actually bring to the table.
and then one of the one of the developers from Google Play will actually be taking the stage and you know just going over the history of Google Play and how they've distributed mobile mobile games to the market and the philosophy behind that. Again, a lot of this is talking about forward thinking philosophy and forward thinking design philosophy. And the potential for this is just it it's astounding. And then there's this asshole. Finally, Adam Orth. Former Microsoft Creative Director. Now at his own Orth Nation Consultancy. Yes, Orth Nation. I wish I was making this up. will explore toxic online behavior in a segment that he titles... Let me make sure I read this so I am getting this right. I hope you are sitting down for this. I hope you are not drinking anything because I don't want your computer screen bathed in whatever is in your mouth at the moment. Mob rules. Colon. The destructive power of opinion and online community. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus, this is the second time I'm reading this, and... I think I actually face palmed so hard my vision went blurry for a second. The, the destructive power of opinion? Now earlier today when I was, you know, before I stumbled into this minefield of sanctimony and stupidity. I was going around YouTube, you know, watching my, you know, doing my thing, watching my usual videos, you know, going back through Alpha Omega Sin's lengthy and rich catalog of nerd rage, literally nerd rage at its finest. And I came across his video in response to Adam Orth's first bout of Twitter mouth diarrhea. And one of the more recent comments said, and I'm quoting here, let me go ahead and pull the screen down just a little bit. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. It was on the follow-up video talking about how Adam Orth had gotten fired shortly after this whole thing jumped off. Now, this quote was made literally like six or seven hours ago, right? It says, LMAO, Adam Orth is doing a presentation called Mob Rules, the Destructive Power of Opinion and Online Community at GDC this year. What a nut. My response was quite simply, please tell me that's a joke. No single person outside of Congress can be that stupid. Right? Right? Please? And then I did due diligence. Five seconds on Google. And thus this rant. The mind. It boggles. So this guy who got canned by Microsoft. By Microsoft. Because... He hinted at their dirty little secrets before they before they did. You know, because he decided to pull a Don Matrick 
before Don Matrix spouted off at the mouth and had his own little bout of mouth diarrhea. This guy goes on to, number one, apparently form his own consulting agency, but number two, has the unmitigated temerity, the sheer gall, to show up at the Game Developers Conference at GDC and decides he wants to talk about the destructive power of opinion. Brother, it's only destructive because that opinion turned against you and you got fired. People have opinions. Everyone's got an opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one, and more often than not, then they stink. But it's their opinion. But when enough people have the same opinion on something you've done or said, then you gotta stop and take a look in the mirror. You know, if you're walking down the street and three people tell you, nigga, you look like a horse, look in the mirror and see if you ain't talking some Mr. Ed shit. The destructive power of opinion and online community. Online community is the reason that the gaming community is as strong as it is. And not just the gaming community as a whole, but separate genres of gaming. The hack and slash community, for example. The FGC, for example. The RPGC, for example. The FPS community, Call of Duty, Battle, Battlefront, freaking every single genre of gaming, every single subgenre of gaming, damn near every single game that has ever hit the market has a fan base, has a community rallying around it and looking to actually promote and strengthen it. The only reason there is any sort of destructive force as far as opinion or as far as community is because one, there are going to be trolls, let's face it, or two, someone, someone in corporate or someone on the outside, someone not on the internet, someone in real life has actually had such a lapse of common sense that they say or do something so bloody stupid that they lose their cushy little job at Microsoft. Adam Orth, I'm looking at you. The destructive power of opinion. And you're going around talking about how you left Microsoft? Dude, you got fired. Face it. You fucked up. Face it. Own up to it. Don't turn around and start whining and prancing around like a little sanctimonious twit. Talking about how Oh, it was because it was because of the internet. It was because of the community. It was because of, you know, this 24-hour media cycle that my own stupidity was highlighted and thus got me fired from fucking Microsoft. Adam Orth, if you are actually online, if you are still on Twitter, if you aren't trying to hide your Twitter account or your activities on something like Facebook or YouTube, if you aren't being a little coward, and if you actually come across this and you're watching this, I've got this to say to you. You pop.
popped off at the mouth. You acted like an idiot. You didn't own up to your stupidity. You got fired. Hashtag deal with it. An uncharacteristically angry vlog with all the anger that even that bastard could muster. I'm, I'm angry enough for the both of us. But that is that. So, with that stated, I'm going to go ahead and leave with some shout outs. Team Hack and Slash, all y'all. All you're awesome. I cannot stress this enough. You guys are awesome. Jersey Boy, Guardian, Frank, DM87. You're my peoples. With your support and the support of all my subscribers, again, over 150 now, which is still mind-boggling. All my friends that have been commenting and watching the videos, I just got to say... Thank you guys, really. Thanks a heap. To the United Fighters group, Kumar, Vince, Kevin, GQ Asian dude, that Asian kid. Again, just much love to you guys. I also want to send, send a few shout outs to my friends and fam down in California. My flight leaves Thursday. I'm going to be coming in Friday around midnight. So, you'll, you know, I'll be in Ontario waiting to get picked up. And then very likely the following day, if not that Saturday, I'm going to be running around all over the Inland Empire, ripping it up. And also for those of you in the L.A. area, if you're going to be at Anime Expo for day one, that being Thursday, July 4th. Look for the cap. Look for the black. You'll see me. So, until the next video, until the next vlog, this is Blazing Ace Nelson. Thanks a lot for sticking around for this rant. And remember, work hard, keep your head in the game, and if anyone gets and if someone gets in your way, tell them hashtag you don't give a damn. Catch you on the next one.